What's going on guys? Welcome back to the TCG Empire YouTube channel. Today we are going to be going over Final Standings Friday. And if you're not sure what that is, Final Standings Friday is where we take the deck of the week. And I analyze some of the things about it that I believed were good. And also some of the things that I believed weren't so good about it within my initial testing. Now this week we did have the archetype known as Lugia V-Star being paired with Archeops. And this deck is a ton of fun. When you play this deck, being able to set up the initial engine of how the deck works, it makes you feel like you have one of the best decks in the room. The premise of this deck is that you use Lugia V-Star's ability to bring out two Archeops from the discard. And from there, Archeops has a very unique ability that lets you accelerate special energy from your deck and attach it to any Pokemon in play. Now, this deck does revolve around using special energy, and it allows you to have an abundance of attackers. The neat thing about it is that you can play single strike energy to power up things like Tyranitar V in order to hit massive amounts of damage. And then on the backup, you also have a unique attack on Lugia V-Star as it does 220 damage and it can discard a stadium. So if you're ever in a weird spot where there is a collapsed stadium or something that you don't want in play in play, it means that you can have the chance to get rid of it. Being paired with this, you also have the Urshifu VMAX and Urshifu VMAX is a good card as it can deal a massive amount of damage, one-shotting things like Duraludon VMAX and it has a shred attack that does massive amounts of damage in order to make that possible. The downside though to playing Lugia is that Lugia tends to lose to itself. There's plenty of times where you aren't able to just draw the right cards and it can clunk. And when you're not able to do that and you're not able to set up the Archeops, it really shuts down the deck as the main point of it and the main engine is getting the Archeops. So if you're able to get the Archeops in the discard and activate the ability on Lugia V-Star, you're good to go from there, but most of the time you'll have a tough time doing it, especially with things like Judge in format. It really makes it difficult. You have to really hope that you can have an amazing turn one, and this deck does want to go first so that way you can evolve turn two and use the ability, but due to your opponent being able to play supporters, it means that you can be heavily disrupted, and something like Path to the Peak as well as Judge can really just destroy the deck. Now overall though, I do think the deck is fun and I do think the deck is unique in its own way and I do understand why it's the top of the meta right now and has been doing so well. I just think that you need to focus on figuring out ways to get over those bricky hands. But overall, as I said, the deck is really good. It has good matchups into pretty much everything. You have unique cards like Serena that can actually nullify the effects when it comes to being able to spread damage with Lost Box. And then you have the unique attackers like Urshifu VMAX, as I stated, for Duraludon for the Shred attack. And then for Mew, you do have Tyranitar V and everything in between. So overall, try this deck out. I think it's a ton of fun. Enjoy the gameplay in the background. And as always, if you did enjoy today's video, smash that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch you guys in next week's Meta Monday.